What do you think? What do, what do you mean, what do I think? Oh, what's the matter? You didn't know I was going to turn the camera on? Imagine that. I didn't have time to get the makeup artist ready, like you do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My ponytails and my pajamas. So this is how it really is, behind the scenes. Take a look. <laughs> well, this is what we're conquering today. Don't step on the rake. I know. Um, so this area here used to be where my garlic boxes were and then the wood rotted see how it's kind of rotting there um but that backboard is keeping the dirt from going into my vegetable garden so i need a spot for my day lilies that i grew and the issue is we don't have the excavation ready lined up i'd like to get them in the ground so i'm going to use this area here um, I've sort of expanded it to double what it was and I'm hoping to get two rows of daylilies in there of ones that I grew myself and that I want to hybridize and that I'm really kind of waiting to see what they look like bloom wise. So I have to use this area because at this point that's all I can do. I, we have very kind of limited sun because we're nestled in the woods so I have to maximize the space that I do have. So what we did was we kind of took out this rock border um, that was here. As you can tell, it like continued. I stopped it at the bench and then continued it around to, to this corner. And so what I did was I took those away and we sort of just added some flat rocks, some big flat rocks to sort of just make a path back here uh, so we can get through. And then it kind of now looks like a continuation of the cottage garden. So I'm not sure about the bench being there now, but we'll, I'll figure that out when I'm finishing up. But um, there is a tree peony in here, which I'm gonna leave because it's sort of just starting out and it's so pretty. I saw it bloom once, it had one flower last year. It was kind of in a spot that was too shady to do really well. So I moved it because I really love the flower on it. Um, so I'm gonna let that establish for a little while and I think that's a nice spot for it. And then I'm gonna get my day lilies in here. So, I mean, is it time to plant them? I don't know. All the daylilies are coming up though. You wanna see? Like, look how, look how far up the daylilies are right now. So I'm gonna get my seedlings, which have been hardened off for a while. Um, I'm gonna go get them and I'm gonna put them in the ground. And if it frosts, I'm gonna cover them and only the strong survive. I may panic a little bit. Oh, look, we have a hyacinth. <gasps> Oh yeah, baby. I mean, stuff is just starting. Look, I see it. Do you see it? My loves are coming up. <laughs> I'm very excited. Anyway, I mean, you know, everyone has high hopes in the beginning of the season. Uh, but anyway, so this is the project we're working on today. It's one of the few weekends we have left to actually do anything without sports and um, events and all that sort of thing. So we're getting our compost on. And this area has been prepped, so stay tuned. So what are you going to call this? Lily Lane? Probably. It's kind of hard to decide which ones are going to go in and which ones are going to find a different location. Well, it's almost like um, a surprise egg in a sense. You don't know what's going to turn out. Oh, boy. I don't know if I can, oh boy. That looks like it could be a little root bound there. Yeah, I, I probably could have potted these up. When did you start these? Oops. December, January, somewhere around there. Now, are these your hybridized? These are... These are the, no, well, some. Some are ones that I made and some are ones that I purchased and paid a crap ton of money for. Uh, you didn't want that uh, plant holder, did you? Dog! Hello? Yeah, well, hopefully she only eats one of them. All right. I think I'm going to give these a haircut too, because a lot of these are like, just like so big and they, they are root bound in there. So I might just like cut them and let them kind of start over being it's at the beginning of the season just to clean them up a little because they're going to look really sloppy if I don't. 
Well, isn't that why you started them? So they could kind of like go through two. Well, no, I started them so I can see them bloom potentially. It usually takes like three years, you know, two or three years to see the bloom on a cross. So I wanted to see if I could get first year blooms by starting them super early. Oh, I have to keep track of what I'm doing. This one is the Steve's lost his pants. This one, that's that cross right there. I'm excited about that one. They all have weird names. Well, I didn't name them. Steve's, there's two of those. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put them in front of each other. That way I can kind of keep this. This dog is a ruckus. Excuse me. Cleo isn't happy with it. All right. I hope you love your new home. So do you have any idea what this bloom is going to look like or no? No, but I hope it has stripes. You know what, though? They all look really like they're ready to go, don't they? That's healthy right there. Might be a little stressed too. That's That might be why these leaves are kind of... But, such is life. Here we go. So when are you going to expect these to bloom? I hope this year, if not next year. Yeah, because Lily Lane would look pretty boring if uh, we didn't have some color here. Well, this is not for color. This is like, this is to have something that no one else has. That's what these are for. These are the rare ones. This is to have those valuable lily seeds you've been telling me about, right? Yep. This is so I can make my crosses from something that I have that other people don't. So I want pretty, I want, I want plants that no one else has. And it's hard to do like, you know, some of all of these could be just crap and they bloom and they're, they're not really that pretty or they don't really have good traits. So you never know. This could be a big waste of time, but the anticipation is worth everything. Well, you were pretty excited last year. You had a few that you Yeah, they were pretty, like, you know, a couple of them were like pretty, they look like the parent plant a lot. Um, but a couple of them were pretty awesome. So, pretty exciting. So is that normally how you plant lilies or do you just kind of throw them in a garden with a bunch of other... No, these are specific for like, you know, I'm waiting to see what these look like. So this is not, you know, I don't like that they're all in rows, but it's just easy for now. And I was supposed to have a place to grow them all, but unfortunately... Unfortunately, your husband is busy. Yes, and, and the excavation is not going to happen. So they're going to go here for now. And all the other ones will probably get potted up. Like these guys are still little. They're not going to bloom this year. They'll bloom next year. So I'm not going to go out of my way to plant them. The ones that are adult size, I'm going to do. Because if they're in the ground, they're going to give me a first year bloom. Most likely. So that's what I'm focusing on. Because, I mean... This is ready to go and it's yeah. got a whole season. So, so this does is this mean I'm off the hook? I don't have to build these raised beds no, now? It means that you better get moving because next year we're really gonna be behind. You know, they say it takes like a thousand plants to get one good introduction. Just so you know. <laughs> I want to have one introduction. I remember when you bought the first oh, man, Willy is... for like 170 bucks and you were telling me how it was going to create this wealth. Well, Seeds of has, wealth. It has done nothing for me of the sort. Yeah, it's whatever happened fueled, to it? It's fueled an absolute opposite addiction. Uh, and, um, you know, I've just bought more and more and more instead of trying to see what I get with the ones I love to begin with. But the problem is, the more you get into it, the more you see what other people have, and you're like, oh, I love that, you know. It's just the way it is. Look at this is really root bound. This one's really happy. This one is Cheryl May Taylor times Purple Panther is the pod parent, and Clown Pants is the pollen parent. 
So. So do you even have a clue of what color? Oh yeah, I have. I actually have the when they when you buy the seed cross or when they list them, they show you a picture of the parents so that you have an idea or you're hoping that you get the best traits of each parent in the kid plant. So if if either one of these parents were were ugly, then I wouldn't want it. So this is kind of. So two ugly lily parents couldn't produce a beautiful lily child. No, they could. They could. Sometimes genes are recessive and you'll get like, you know, it's almost like ancestry. Like, oh, this part, that kid looks like your great grandmother or your, you know, you'll get traits from wherever in the line. That's the fun part. You just don't know. Well, what about Mr. Clown Pants? He okay. couldn't have been too gorgeous. He's beautiful. Yeah, yes. with his big red nose, I suppose. <sighs> Actually, he's like kind of reddish. He's got stripes. stripes. And then we have what? What's the spider one you're always talking about? Spider? Oh, Spider-Man's nemesis. I didn't get any crosses of that this year because I didn't have enough flowers and... It really just didn't happen, I was hoping. And then the problem too is if you wanna cross it with something, you have to either save the pollen or you have to have something that you wanna cross it with blooming at the same time. You have to have two lilies open at the same time unless you save pollen. And I'm not getting into all that. Um, whatever's open at the time and available to, to pollinate, that's what I did. That's what I do, it's easier. I don't do this for a living, I'm just doing it for fun. See, look, I have to, I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. I keep forgetting to put the tag in. It'll be fun. So how, how deep you gotta go for these? Well, any potted plants you plant at ground level. So whatever the soil level here, yep. then you do it same way in the ground. Am I going in a little bit? So when somebody just wants to go purchase a lily, uh, is now the time to do that? Yeah, most people buy them because they're in bloom at the nursery and they love the flower. So unless you know what one you want, you're not going to do it now. You'll get them while they're um, in bloom. But some people advertise over the winter, which is where I get into trouble. They advertise their fans um, and their flowers and they say they have one that's this price. And you're like, okay, good, send me one. And then in the, like, I'll get the fan. It may or may not bloom this year because if they grow them in the South, a lot of times they they've already bloomed and they cut the scape off and they just send it to you, they cut it back. So you have to wait a year, but you'll know what you're getting because you get it, you've already seen a picture of it. So. But how many normal people do this? What, what do you mean? Like normal? order lilies over the internet and You would be and start surprised. Like how many other yous are out there? Wait, there are people worse than me. I, I hate to break it to you. You lucked out. Oh yeah, I did, definitely. You, did. you definitely lucked out. This could be way worse. Yeah, I could be actually planting these and you could be filming me. I would never let you plant these. It looks like it, it needs a nice soft touch. And you're going to give it to it? No. Probably not. No. We still have gnat tags in there. What do we have? Same thing. Like, that's the thing. I have, like, five of the same cross. But you don't know which one will be prettiest. So you have to grow them all. So even if you have five of the same crosses, they all could look different. Like kids. Yes. So like, it's like, like our two kids. They came from me and you, but they look different. Yeah, but they also came five years apart. What do you want? I got a little old there. <laughs> that so. has nothing to do with it. Oh, well. They didn't uh, look old because you're older. They look old because they have different genes, different times. Each little seed in that pod has different genes. So they could. There Actually, there was a really cool post on... Um, uh, one of the one of the Facebook groups and the woman had posted uh, what each there was like five kids and they all look different from the same cross 
So that was really cool, I thought. So it's probably hard then to get a lily to come back looking the same way every time. I would think, what right? Mean? What does that mean? Like, say you make spider pants lily and it comes. Ooh, and it, spider, for real. And then you bred spider pants lily with the clown pant. And then if he had five kids, the five kids would look different. And then if you bred the five kids, they would look different. Well, yeah, but if you liked one of the kids, you'd grow it and you would divide the plant, you'd have more of the same exact thing. If you want the exact plant you're growing, then you just divide it. If you want a different version of the parent, then you cross it and you grow the kids out. What's the difference between dividing and crossing? Dividing is this, you're getting, you know, you're getting the exact same plant. So if I like this, if I love this, if this blooms and I'm like, oh my God, it's like the, the glory days, right? That plant, if I want more of it, I'm not going back to the two parents and crossing more. I'm taking this, I'm letting it grow. I'm letting it put up more fans, like I'm letting it multiply. And then I'm dividing out. So I have more of the same exact plant. So there's a big difference. One, you know you're getting the same plant. The other one, you're getting a version of this plant. So you leave that plant alone. You don't start messing around, if I like shaking it. pistols on it, and <laughs> all that other stuff, right? Yes. If I like it, I leave it alone and I let it multiply. And then I have a huge clump of the bloom, which is what you want. That's what you want. You want a showstopper and a lot of them in one area. How many seeds do you normally get from one li lily plant? So it's interesting. They said when I was researching all of this, that it was like eight seeds, like up to eight seeds. And I had one cross that gave me 17 seeds. So I guess it really depends on how, it depends on the plant, but sometimes you only get, sometimes I only got two seeds and sometimes I got 17, so. And what happened to those 17 seeds? What did I do with this? Is this? Did any of those 17 seeds get sold? Hold on a second, I have to figure out what I just did. Clown pants, clown pants. This is Cheryl May again, right? She's a pro at that. And then this one, what is this one? Oh, okay, they have their tags. I can't do two things at once, I get <coughs> So do we have 17 seeds or did you get rid of them? Oh no, I can't grow 17 of them. I do, I do have them, but last year I got a, um, a cross from my own garden. It was Master's Voice times um, Angels in Wisconsin. I had a whole bunch of them. And when they were blooming at the end of last year, one was different the, than the rest of them started blooming and they looked like Master's Voice, but they weren't real like beautiful they weren't as pretty as the master's voice so i'm not really interested like i'll see what they do this year if anything changes but most of them were like eh, i already have that plant so if it looks close enough to the parent then i'm not really interested i already have one i already have the one that i love why would i want to make more of the same like or a less beautiful version of what i have that doesn't make sense do you think my voice is beautiful so what now? What, what is your voice beautiful? Well, you're... it depends what it's saying to me. Master's voice. Yeah. When it says, "Here's money, go buy something." Yes, it's sexy. When it, it says, "Why are you taking up more of these lawns? Don't you have enough?" Uh, exactly. I didn't actually want to say anything, but it does look like I lost another quarter acre this morning. Uh, you lost like two feet. It just keeps continuing. But you know what? Feel free to go over there and fix that menagerie of a lawn. The lawn does look pretty bad over there. Oh, and what happened that it looks terrible? Uh, Be honest. I don't know. What did you do in the winter that I asked you not to do and you did anyway? I didn't put that much salt down, sweetie. You made an absolute mess. I think we made a mess when you and me tried to put the 
Oh, no, don't, don't you, in ourselves. No, don't you wee, 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 nothing. I think you're you're good at growing uh, a garden, but not grass. No, I, I don't I do not do well with grass. Actually, there's a, um, a lecture coming up for my Master Gardener course on lawns. So I will be paying close attention to everything that we've done wrong since I've lived here. We have weeds. We don't really have grass. This is kind of just what grows. It's not even real grass. It's like weeds. I've never really been into grass. You know what I mean? Like some people actually have it fertilized and they, I like the dandelions. You would. They look good. There's a lot of people like you. I, I posted a picture of my first blooming flower, which was a dandelion. And I, and I put hashtag damn weeds and I got slack for it. And I love bees. I obviously plant for pollinators. I'm a big advocate for organic gardening. Um, and I still got slack for calling the dandelion a weed. Please, <laughs> I, I do enough for my pollinators, trust me. I don't um, need the dandelion. What about in other countries? Maybe they like the dandelion. They're, edi they're actually edible and they're bitter as hell, but if, you, if that's your thing, by all means, I don't care. It doesn't bother me any if you eat them. Like, why couldn't you put a nice little, a couple dandelions in your garden and make it look cool? Because I'd have 3,000 dandelions after I planted the first one. You know how that works. They have those little blowy little seeds and they get stuck in the cracks of the rocks and then they bloom. And then they have more seeds everywhere and they blow in the wind. You'll never not have dandelions. There will, hey, 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 out. Out. Good girl. That's a good girl. Wow. She listened. You yeah, look at Cleo. 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 Hi, Cleo. The only reason Cleo listens is because she can't hear. Sit. 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 There you go. Chill. I'm petting them both with dirty gloves. Anyway, can I get back? Are you, any, any other questions? I don't know. I think that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm good. looking forward to seeing what these lilies look like. I'm looking you forward do. to seeing how many seeds we get our first year here on the lily farm. They have to bloom. They're, I, I don't know. I, I would hope that I could hybridize, hybridize something, but... It's funny it's how every process. winter you tell me about, honey, you're not going to believe it. If I buy this and I made it with that, I'm going to be making moolah. <laughs> I see no moolah. I have to tell you that because then you'll, you'll let me have this little obsession. So there's no lily there's farm no coming? Was there's that a big no, lie? There's no guarantees of anything. You should know that. Especially of whatever I'm telling you. But yet you want me to clear some more land. I mean, there are worse things in life. I'm starving. What are we having for dinner? I don't know. Master's voice says, make me a sandwich. Actually, the flowers on these are edible. So if the world goes to... You know what? Then we'll have we'll have flowers for dinner. Master's voice went in one ear and out the other. What did you say? I said, Master's voice says, "Make me a sandwich." Sandwich? I'm not having a sandwich for dinner. See, it doesn't work. Why would you want a sandwich for dinner? I want steak and potatoes or something. All right, I'll take that. Should we order out tonight? No, Master's voice says, "Save some money." I'm going to save some money. I guess we're having hot dogs. All like, right. Like I'll put... Potatoes. I'll, I'll start the grill. I Looks great, know. honey. <laughs> I love it. Can't wait to see the finished product. Don't run through the garden. Oh, boy. She is missing the plants, though. Like, it's almost like... Like, she does leaps and bounds. And if there is something growing, she does step around it. Or over it. I, got back I, I like how she gets the benefit of the doubt, but Jax doesn't. And, and she's walking around the garden to come back. So. Where is Jax? I don't know where Jax is. Hello, my The kids dog. must be eating something yeah, my inside. Little my little sidekick. Yes, beautiful. I'm filthy. I'm going to need a tubby later. Yes. Okay. All right. And a massage. I'll go make dinner. Master says. Yes. <laughs> yeah.
No, master. I am the master. Master's voice says Z. I'm the master gardener, the master of this household. No, master of the garden. How about that? Yeah. How about that, my do? Mm. Sounds great. Can't wait. <laughs> Hey, don't lean on me. I'll I'm the master away. chef. I'll be back. Yes. All right. Can't wait to see what you cook up. Later.